Hi everyone, this is Macy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Pico Pro Maker Kit for Android things. This is my kit. I received it at the Google Developer Days Europe. It does not come with a hat. It has the development board, camera, touchscreen, Wi-Fi, and other cables. I have connected them based on the instruction on the website here. I will post them at the description box as well. And here's the basic setup. It's pretty straightforward. You just really cannot be gentle with them, especially with this Wi-Fi antenna. I really had to use a screwdriver to force it in or else it's just not gonna go in. And this is a very, very powerful kit. It has a camera, has a touch screen. I'm really surprised they were able to put down all those features within 150 US dollars. So since it's set up, just connect your device with the computer. They have a USB-C cable here. You can just connect it to the board. I'm plugging the other part to your computer. So I am using a Mac. If you like to see a PC setup, please let me know. Let's get it started. Here is the website. I picked my developer kits. There are other ones available. So this is exactly what I have without the hat. The setup is really, really clear here. You can follow all the instructions, plug things in you will get this setup. Then you need to install Android things to the kit. I do have Android Studio on the Mac. It is located on my computer, users, my name, and in the hidden library folder. And then you can find it in the Android folder here. And then there are other tools in the platforms. You will see there are tons of tools and this ADB is what we are looking for. You could set up the path. If you think it's too complicated, what you can do is open the terminal. You can just type CD and drag this folder to the terminal and type enter. And then when you type ADB and you will see lots more lines to show you what to do with ADB. And since I already have the path set up and I can say ADB, devices. I already have my Android thing set up. But for you, we can go through the tutorial together. You will see we need to follow the hardware setup instructions. So we go to here. What happened is all the devices initially going to be set up as the fast boot devices. So you can see fast boot devices. And I don't have any because my Android things was already set up. So what I'm going to do is ADB reboot boot loader, which means it will turn my device into a fast boot mode. And then I just see my screen kind of blanked and then went back to regular mode. Then when you see the screen just has the monitor brand, which means your device is in fast boot mode. And then we can repeat last line, just press upper arrow key, fast boot devices. Now you can see my Android Things kit. It's actually in fast boot mode. There is like a number. Then we need to run a script. It's called flash o.sh script. We need to actually go to the Android Things console. You can see we have a test product. In order to get that image, we actually need to create a product. Then we can get a folder with that flashing image for our Android things. So press this create product icon. I will just do YouTube. SOM type. I will choose my mice and XP Pico imx 7 d So choose the one you have. And that's it. And click create. And we are creating the product. So here it is. Let's go to factory images. We click create build configuration and it's created completely. It has a bundle. 
so we can download the build. Now download started. We got the zip file. Just open the folder. See here, you have that flash file. Now we go back to the instruction. He's saying we actually need to run this script. So how are we gonna do it? So we go to the folder, drag this over, and it's running. The screen will start flashing and your terminal telling you the progress of the device. It will take about one minute. Now your command line will showing rebooting and finished. So now my device is loaded with Android things and you can see on your screen, it will say Android things 0.5.1 or whatever version you put it on. Then when you set up the Wi-Fi, they do have instruction here. Here is actually what they were showing you. So first, we actually need to type ADB shell. If you don't have ADB path set up, you can still do the same thing. Go to your finder and just do CD and then drag the platform to us here and that's type ADB. So here we go. Now I'm actually coding on the device itself. And first, when you start the services, I just copy AM star service and then we'll say we start the Wi-Fi services and then we're gonna say connecting the Wi-Fi. So here we still should put the forward slash afterwards because we're gonna put our network name. And here we're gonna say hyphen E SSD and a space because my Wi-Fi network name has space in it. That's why I use the uh, semicolon. Make sure it's uppercase, lowercase, exactly the same. And then forward slash, and then we still need to put the password. And then press enter. And then once that worked, you will see on your tablet, you will say your Wi-Fi is connected to a certain network name and if it's connected or not. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to be able to use the YouTube creator space to make my videos. However, my subscriber base is not large enough to meet their requirements. I live in a very, very small apartment. In order for me to set up everything, that takes a long time. And after filming, I have to take them down. So if I get about 10,000 subscribers, then I can use the YouTube space, which means I will be able to make more videos in a shorter time. And so please subscribe, it will help me so much. And